Hello again, it's Pastor Moses here and welcome to our first ever episode of Weekly Reasons to Rise and Shine. These weekly episodes are uh, put out to help us think, challenge and stir us to see what God has for us, knowing that God has so much more for His people. A life of a born-again believer, a life of a citizen of the kingdom should never be boring, should never be uninspiring. It should be quite the opposite. So I'd like to ask you a question. Does it stir you? Does it bother you that we have always been boasting to serve the owner of the universe, the most powerful God, the Almighty, yet still allow ourselves to entertain limited thinking, finite thinking, powerless thinking. How can that be? How can these two things coexist? Hosting the God of the universe, who is all-powerful, yet living a powerless life. I propose that every believer, we don't have the permission to have limited mindsets or to think small. We rather have the mandate to make earth like heaven, just as Jesus prayed, so that nations will see our good works and come to glorify God. You and I, we are called to transform the world in such a way that people will recognize the Lord Jesus Christ. I praise God that Right now, he is raising a generation of culture shapers. Men and women like you and I, who are not satisfied where they are and pursue the kingdom with such fervency to explore and to live out the exciting life that God ordained for us. We are seeing futurists come onto the scene. Futurists who have the ability to see into the future and come back and inspire people about what God is doing. We have culture architects, those who use their skills to shape culture and bring heaven right here on earth so that our future generations will prosper in the process. We have Kairos conductors People of God who understand the times and the seasons just as the sons of Issachar were blessed with. Having the appropriate action for any given time, the appropriate words, the appropriate attitudes for any given time so that we are a blessing. We need to expand our perspective to match that of heaven. If we think about it, we have a profound advantage. But in reality, when we look around, the, the movers and the shakers, the culture shapers, are the unbelievers. And that's a direct indictment on you and I as children of God. A direct indictment on the body of Christ. We have this open door, this opportunity that God spoke to the church of Philadelphia in the book of Revelation. He said, I have this open door before you. Are we willing to step up and step into it and take on that challenge? That's the question that I'd like to pose for you to think about and pray into in the coming week. If you're not convinced enough about your role in God's plan to demonstrate this on earth, let's consider a few distinct advantages that you and I have. And I'd like to share with you one till the next episode. And that is, you and I are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Think about it. We are the temple of the God who created all things. He spoke things into being. He lives inside of us. When we believe that and allow that to influence our spirit, you and I will be a different person altogether. Influencing this world for the glory of God and ushering in the goodness of God in such a time as this. 
Thank you for tuning in. I pray that is enough for you to think about, meditate on. Till the next episode, God bless.